Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes. So today we're looking at a Yamaha XT350, which is all around pretty original. And um, it's got an aftermarket exhaust, and that's about all I can see. Uh, maybe the aftermarket grips. Overall condition is very, very good. Nice colours in the uh, white and red. And we'll start at the front with the front tire. Is in good condition, as you can see. Front mud guards good. Front gaiters are nice and red. Plastic covers on the shocks here to protect them. And same with the actual uh, disc brake as well. Alloys nice condition, could do a little bit of a spring clean. The inside of the bike here and, and the frame, all really nice condition. As you can see, the headers are in good condition as well. Front headlamp and, and indicators are original. Up over the top, you've got the Yamaha kind of dash protector. You've got your Pro Taper uh, grips left and right. Levers are good, mirrors are good left and right. We have the tank up over the top, the tank protector, a few little dots of uh, marks throughout the tank itself. But uh, overall nice condition. Yamaha original seat as well, no rips or tears to be seen in here. Left hand side of the engine is in good condition. Not an awful lot of scraping as well on this left hand side of the uh, engine cover, which is good to see. But you see a lot of these with these uh, kind of when you wear boots with them, it's kind of inevitable that you uh, scrape them. The rear chain guard is good, and same with the rear tire. 1988 bike, as you said, so you know, overall for a 1988 bike, this is really good condition. Left and right indicators, and the uh, original uh, rear rack on it as well, so you can put a back box or carry luggage with you. Pillion pegs are present on the left and right. Swing arms good. Rear alloy is the same as the front. The uh, right hand side engine cover casing has a bit more rubbing, which is more typical of these types of bikes. You've got your kickstart here and your um, uh, exhaust here, good condition. Up over the top, all very nice. Sewing 21,000 kilometers on the clock. So low kilometer bike as well for the age and overall nice condition. So. We'll move now from the visual analysis into the ride along video. Okay, on to the next bike. I'm eyeing up these waters here, it's hot out. <laughs> I've done only two bikes, so here we go. Let's go for the, hmm, XT350. All right, let's see how we're good, good we are at kickstarting. First time is to put the choke on. Make sure you're on reserve or on. I'm on reserve. I have choke on, I have the kickstart out. And let's see how many kicks she takes. Third time's a charm. All right, we leave the choke on for the time being. And once she gets warmed up, I'll, I'll, I'll put in the choke a bit. They're halfway already. She's laid with that exhaust. I'm gonna turn right here. And away we go. That's better. All right, no choke. putting it in here now. Seems quite busy. Let's put her into second gear. She's going through the gears nicely all the way through. Let me turn off my indicator. Stop telling people I'm turning right when I'm not. And let's turn right here. It's going down the gears nicely as well. All right, and up the hill. And it'll do the turnabout. Plenty of power in her. Going through all the gears, as I said, nicely up and around. I've, I've ridden plenty of these XTs. This is my first uh, XT350 now. I've done the 225s, the 250s, the 200s, the TW200s, all that kind of uh, type of bikes I've done. So let's do our turnabout here. They should be pretty good at doing this. Yeah, look at this nice slow speed, easy peasy. I could have sworn that was going to happen anyway. I saw your man with the football there and I said that's going wide very, very quickly. All right. Here we go. Go through it. Up to the speed limit. Really, really nice bike. Very, very comfortable. No real terrible vibrations through the uh, handlebars or anything. 
she a real uh, spur of life in her. I mean, 20,000 kilometers feels uh, exactly right, nice and tight. The bike's only just been broken in, in my opinion, at 20k. These bikes are well capable of triple or quadruple that with no issues at all. Really, really beautiful bike. I know the XC225s are like, you know, people look at them like gold or so. I'm not too sure on what the whole consensus is around these XT350s. So maybe you guys could tell me what uh, what's the whole thing around these XT350s? What do they like? Who likes them? Why do they use them? And we're turning left here. If you have made it to this far in the video, please do leave a like. Also comment down below what you think of this XT350 and finally subscribe if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. Let me knock her into neutral. Idling really nice now. There we are. That's a nice bike. I tell you that much, that's a nice bike. Uh, just before I get off there, actually I'll just show you. 188 centimeters with the shoes. Uh, so I'm completely fat foot. I'm not even at the dead center of the bike here. So, you know, anyone could get their leg over this thing. It's really nice, low seat height on the bike. So very uh, nice for people to get on. There she is, looking really nice. Like I said in the visual analysis, I think the color really goes with the bike. Nice compliment to the bike indeed. And we'll uh, get a photo here for the thumbnail on YouTube. This is what you guys will be clicking on. Yamaha XT350, that's it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you do want to reach out to us uh, on our socials, they are at Retro Bikes Dublin for Instagram, Facebook, and our official uh, website is www.retrobikesdublin.com. If you have enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching, guys.